Hey everyone and welcome back to the hopefully final episode of Detroit Become Human. There's only four chapters left, so we're going to try and get through them all today. When we left off, Kara met Rosie and they're going to be heading to Canada. Um, Connor shot another android to find out more about RA9. Didn't really find anything, didn't already know. After meeting his creator. And Marcus led the Million Man March for androids. So let's dive in. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Uh, I could have unlocked another dialogue option. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Bitch, I asked, what the fuck happened? Yeah. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor, not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? That thing that I put my Do you feel anything for go. these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? Say no because this bitch will fuck me up if I say yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Ready to I don't feel talking. anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. Because I feel like she would put me down right there if I became a deviant. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait. We just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Path unlocked. Talk to Hank. Hank's a big meanie.
Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on him. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They're not people, Lieutenant. They're defective machines. They're not people. That's what we say every time we want to oppress someone. Something's changed in you, Connor. Each time you died, you'd come back just a little colder. You showed less and less empathy. You see things in me that aren't there, Lieutenant. I want Connor to kind of be like... I've never been anything but a machine. The one that doesn't turn. Now. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor, but I'm not gonna help you. Talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? We don't need any plastic pricks around here. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with 
Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Should have broken his memory. Jericho, I need to find what this one is. That back. So he needs a 3983B. You a deviant who took a child hostage. I'm a deviant, like you. I need your help. You I right? want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. I'm gonna probe your memory then. shot you. I, I didn't mean to destroy you. I didn't want to hurt anyone. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know anything about Jericho.
We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of the people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Now, I can trick him because I sound like Marcus. Who's there? Who are you? About? Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Why would Marcus need it? Marcus already knew it. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. So damn, so many options I could have gone. Incapacitate Gavin, so the other option was dying. And I still can't view the percentages for some reason. That was shit. Well, let's continue. That was really good, though. But fuck. I kind of want Connor not to come around to his emotions now, because it's a pretty interesting story if he doesn't. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Oh, so... Something I saw was one of the magazines actually say that... Canada is an android-free zone, but we're supposed to be crossing the border to Canada. And I heard that Canada has no laws about androids, but... It's an android free zone, so. And the whole thing seems like it's more of a trap than anything else. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. 
How about some music instead? Oh, that's what I was trying to play. I didn't know the damn thing got radio and TV. Guessing we're not too far from the Canadian border now. There's only a little further on that way. There's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. The car's about to be Marcus. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you. Until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. You have a bus to catch. Where is the bus stop? at some point anyways. There's a freighter called Jericho. I don't know why anybody didn't cross-reference it. Game. Like bad detective the authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially... We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. They're conducting the raids across the city. Your androids will open the square. And then the police arrived, and they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people. With people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. Chairman of... How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Out of fever. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. She's dying, Carl. Her fever's gonna get worse. She's dying. 
She's a really geek. I'm not shitty. Sure, because we're at Rosie's. Oh, we're all meeting up now. for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids weren't doing any harm. The There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Not her. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. and the neutralization of all military androids. American forces and the Arctic have been... Wait, where is he when I'm not playing? Foster with go down those stairs. Paving the way clear for the Russian army. I only have but the according stand. to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army... Make my way, yeah. ...has been yeah. 
Orlando. Alice. No, that is Alice. Okay. She was an android. I thought so. so especially when he brought that seat i mean i thought so in the first place with the way the dad beginning her. and then when he's like i got just didn't want to see it she wanted a mom and you wanted someone to care for you needed each other what difference does it make do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us Loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Hey man, hit me with this. Yeah, I thought she could have been an android, especially with the way the dad kept treating her, but I brushed off because I thought he was just an easy bastard. But, and he's like, I gotta tell you something, and I'm like, well, it's probably that, but it could also be that she's getting really sick. I did return to Alice. Come on. Here. Oh no, that one's not Alice. That one's a different Alice. That's why. It's a little bit racist. They all look alike to you. Is there something wrong? You lied to me. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yeah, we're both family. Yes. Forever. Oh, I like family. He's part of the family now. Yay! We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We would have lived in fear. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war. But I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. 
can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Say hidden, dialogue, confrontation, dialogue. Dialogue is the only way. Yeah, hate me, North. Fuck you, bitch. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Thoughtful. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Refuse. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. We'll do with Whatever it. happens tomorrow, I want you to know that. We'll do it the MLK way. I'm glad that I met you. So she's been hating me all this time for every peaceful decision I make, but we're friends now. Okay, makes sense. Do it like Martin Luther King Jr. did. Be like the good reverend. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Amanda on this is, I'm assuming, supposed to be like Amanda Waller from the DC Comics, which makes a lot of sense with how her personality is. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Reason, defy, threaten, discourage reason. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Intimidate. Don't force me to neutralize you. <laughs> Doing it back and forth. Appeal. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Our cause. Our cause is righteous, and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Just in all the right words. Warning shot. <laughs> well, I made myself cold hearted again. Saw that stuff, software instability go down. Question. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living Marcus. being capable of reason. I don't want to kill Marcus. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Shutouts. You never have any doubts. 
You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you, something more than your program. Those girls get away. It's time to decide. Do I have to make the decision? Oh, I didn't do enough to not be a machine. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape! You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere! Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long! There's one option, man. the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. I'm like... Yeah! <laughs> 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 
first thing that I shot. We can't stay here. There's more down there! Follow me! There's no way they didn't just see cars sticking out the side there. Don't move! Don't shoot! I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? Obviously. What do I look like? DPD, I work with Lieutenant Hank Anderson. We're on a stakeout. If I knew you were coming, I would have brought some donuts. You're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Join you later. mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. 
looks like only one of us can succeed. It's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. Fuck, that was great. I didn't do enough as Connor to become human, which is kind. Of, it's not where I wanted to go at first, but it's where I had to go when I had to choose whether or not to kill or. Let that machine girl live for information. I'm sure that's what determined whether I stayed a machine or became alive. So I had to kill Connor. Damn, there were so many different things that you could do because you played as all three characters. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to continue. Whatever. Actually, let's go ahead and head out to the main menu. Actually, check the flowchart for that one. I want to check it for the other one. Oh, I guess I can't. I think I'm going to leave it there, though. That, that was a lot to take in. So, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, share, and if you enjoy the content, subscribe and come on back for more.